Welcome back. Right here, I have the brand new wallet from Temper Trail. This is the Johnny Wallet Special Edition for October of 2023. Let's check it out. So the Johnny Wallet arrived to me in this fabric pouch, but of course I already opened it so I can carry it to get ready for this review. But before I did that, I took a video of the packaging that it was in. It came complete with a wax seal and everything, so I just wanted to show you guys how this arrived to me when I first opened the box. But let me give you guys a nice close-up of the brand new Johnny Wallet from Tempered Trail. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. So the Johnny Wallet Special Edition that I have right here for October of 2023 is hand cut from a single piece of black Pueblo full grain leather. It's also hand stitched with Ritza Tiger Thread. Now the special edition for October of 2023 has a Halloween theme going on. You can probably already tell with the black Pueblo and orange paracord lanyard. It can hold up the five cards plus some cash unfolded and everything is held together with the brass grommet snap. And the Johnny Wallet is made right here in the USA. All right, let's talk dimensions. It comes in at 2.9 inches by four inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 1.5 ounces. That's 44 grams. All right, so I'm gonna briefly talk about the Johnny Wallet here before I go over the quality and design. The Johnny Wallet here is the second design from Temper Trail. The first design I reviewed recently, that is the Esco Wallet. And I said the Esco Wallet was the most functional wallet design I've seen all year. And honestly, I think they outdid themselves with the Johnny Wallet here. And I'll show you why once I go over the cash and card test. So the Johnny Wallet is named after Johnny Cash because this wallet is designed for cash lovers. And Temper Trail is gonna release the Johnny Wallet in special editions each month. The September special edition was a pumpkin spice Betalassi Pueblo Almo full grain leather with green Ritza Tiger thread and an ivy colored lanyard. This is the Halloween edition, black on orange. And it looks like in November of 2023, they're gonna do another pumpkin spice special edition. So I think this is a great idea, releasing the Johnny Wallet in special editions each month. But I'm glad I got this October version right here because as you guys know, I am a huge Halloween fan. So this is right up my alley. Oh, and one last thing before I move on to the quality, this is actually a prototype wallet. Temper Trail actually sent this out to me as a prototype. So there's a couple little things such as the half circle cut right here isn't as nice as they would like it to be. And you can definitely see that it's not a perfect half circle, but just so you know, this is a prototype. So the versions that you'll get will be the actual versions and it'll have a nicer half circle right there. But as a prototype, this is still a very impressive wallet. So now let's go over the quality here. One of my favorite leathers in the world is Badalassi Carlo Pueblo. And that's exactly what this is made of. I'll give you a nice close up of that grain. It looks fantastic. Everything is hand cut from a single piece of Pueblo and only a single stitch right there on the side. If I get in real close, you can see that cross stitching with that Ritz of Tiger thread. Everything looks great. And to be quite honest with you, the comparison between the Johnny wallet and the Esco wallet, the Esco wallet was designed as a rugged style wallet. So even though the edges were burnished, a lot of the cuts weren't. And that's fine if that's exactly what was meant to be that's great. But coming back to the Johnny wallet right here, all the edges are burnished and the cuts even look nice. I'm not exactly sure if he burnished these edges, but you can see these edges look pretty decent. So overall, the Johnny wallet is a much more refined wallet in my opinion. And then I'll give you a close up of that brass grommet snap right there. Feels pretty nice. And overall, the quality here is fantastic. But I'm not moving on to the design yet until I do a smell test. So, oh man, Pueblo smells absolutely fantastic. So the smell gets a pass from me and the quality gets a pass from me. Now let's talk about the design here. It's a vertical style wallet with a flap. Inside there is one single card pocket right here that holds the bulk of your cards. On the back is a quick access card slot right here with a thumb notch cut out right there on the bottom. It's not really a notch, but when a card is in there, the corner peeks out and it sort of acts like a notch. And I'll show you what I'm talking about once I do the card test. But where the Johnny wallet really shines is its cash carrying capabilities here. It's designed to hold your cash unfolded and still give you access to it from the side. With every special edition each month, we're gonna give you a different color 
paracord lanyard right here and different color leather. I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna change the style of leather, but I know they're gonna come with a different color paracord lanyard right here. And that lanyard is attached with another grommet. And at the end of that paracord, there's a custom little I don't know what you call these, a little cap for the paracord. You can see it says tempered on there. So I think that's a nice touch as well. So now let's look at the branding. All the branding stamps are on the inside. So when you open up that flap, you can see the tempered trail stamp right there on the inside. And then if you peel back the cash compartment right here, there's another stamp showing the date it was made and made in the USA. I'm a big fan of hidden branding like this. I just think it's cool. Um, other than this little tempered stamp right here, at the end of the paracord, that's all the branding you're gonna see on this wallet. Nothing on the front and nothing on the back. All right, now let's do the cash and card test. I already loaded this wallet with seven cards and 20 bills. You can see those bills are unfolded and I have complete access to them from the side compartment. And I know I said earlier that this can hold five cards, but I've been carrying this getting ready for the review with seven cards. I have six in the card pocket on the inside and I have one in the quick access card pocket on the back. And now you can see what I'm talking about with that semi-circular cut acting as a thumb notch. Very easy to get your card in and out of this wallet, but you can see if I just put the card back in without pushing on the cut right there, that's gonna happen. So all you have to do is just give that little corner a push like that and fits right back in. And the functionality for the cards on the inside are just as good. There's another little cutout right there all you have to do is just give it a little push, pull the cards out, do the fan method. So you guys can see, even though this is made for cash lovers, if you're a card carrier, the functionality is still there. And in some ways, even though I said the Esco wallet was the most functional wallet design I've seen all year, I think the Johnny wallet has it beat. And why is that? Well, they both still have a quick access card pocket on the back. You can still hold your cards in the pocket on the inside. The Johnny wallet here doesn't have the Esco's pull tab to easily get your cards out, but I'm not really sure I'm missing that over here. Plus on top of that, you have quick and easy access to all your cash without having to open your wallet. And don't get me wrong, that's taking nothing away from the Esco wallet. I absolutely love this wallet as well, but I think the Johnny wallet is more my style. And I'm not even a huge cash carrier. I only carry cash for emergencies only. But I do like the fact that I can keep my bills unfolded and not have to mess around with those bills to get access to all of my cards. But because of this design, how the cash wraps along that piece of leather right there, when you go to get your cash out of the side right here, you do have to sort of fumble around a little bit to get past that piece of leather right there. Meaning you can't just reach in and grab them all like this because that piece of leather is gonna stop you. But that's no big deal, just give it a little squeeze, find the middle, and you can still pull out all your bills just like that. Getting your bills back in the wallet unfolded without opening your wallet is impossible though. So in that situation, you either have to unfold your wallet or just leave them folded in half like this and stuff them all back in as so. But either way, I think the functionality here is fantastic. So I think Temper Trail has another winner right here with the Johnny Wallet. This is only their second original design. And I wanna emphasize original design because you can see what they're going for right here. They have a very specific style in mind. Meaning when I glance at either one of these wallets, I can instantly tell it was made by Temper Trail. And I absolutely love that. There's a handful of companies out there where I can instantly look at it without knowing anything about the wallet and know who made it. And I think Temper Trail is well on their way to achieving that with future wallet designs. So do I recommend the Johnny wallet? I absolutely do, even at 85 US dollars. Hand cut from a single piece of Pueblo, hand stitched with Ritz of Tiger Thread, made right here in the USA, extremely functional. And on top of that, it's just a little bit less wide too, you can see the width of the Esco wallet versus the Johnny wallet. And I'll put them side by side like this. And you can see just how much wider that Esco wallet is. So the Johnny wallet is less wide. That makes it more compact and more pocketable. This has been a crazy year for wallet releases. One of the best years I can remember in a long time. I'm definitely gonna have my hands full with my top 10 list coming up in December. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Johnny wallet from Temper Trail? Now, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, 
please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. I am sweating in here. It's October in Buffalo, New York, and it was 86 degrees. And in my studio here, it is like a sweat box. It's a sauna in here. And go!